Yo, what is up guys? It's Sam, aka Sammy Slays from Cynical Studios. I'm about to show you guys the two new types of properties that came with the Executives and other Criminals DLC. Let's get to it. Okay guys, we'll be starting out with the stilt apartments or the mansions as some people would want to call them. And they range from 525000 all the way up to 800000 I bought the $800,000 one and uh, this is it right here. So let's get right into entering it. And I found a couple disappointments with uh, the stilt apartments. They're, they're still pretty cool. And I'm just going to say right now that all the stilt apartments have the same interior. It's not like uh, each apartment have different interiors. So if you guys really want to buy a stilt apartment, I would recommend just going with the cheapest one. Because everything in the inside just looks the same. Like this is everything on, on the first floor. Except probably for the view. The view will probably change depending on which apartment you get. So yeah. Uh, this is the first floor. Now you can do all your normal stuff in the normal apartments, watch TV, hit the bong, uh, listen to music, all the radio, drink, wine, and all that stuff. And so let's just move down to the second story. I mean the, the second floor. And I think this is the uh, bedroom. Yeah, this is the bedroom. It's actually a pretty big bedroom compared to all the apartments. And here's the uh, closet. And this is actually a pretty freaking big bathroom over here this is huge and yeah you know bath you can't use the uh the bathtub but you can use the the shower like all the normal apartments and stuff that's a modern ass toilet like it really is okay moving along and now to the last floor i think the last floor is the heist room so you guys can replace whatever like apartment you have you, this can be like your main apartment with the heist room yeah see the heist room and you can basically just do all your normal things uh here like in the normal apartments uh let's get to the garage one disappointing thing that i found with the garages is that that when you have to enter the garage you have to manually go outside and then enter the garage you know by itself because like look i'll show you guys enter here it doesn't give me the option to enter my garage directly so i have to exit the apartment that's one of the downsides of this place and i just bought the house and i have no cars in it yet see this is my only car in it i just put it outside because it'll look nice i have to manually go inside and you know <clears throat> i have to access the garage that way that's probably one of the biggest downsides of these stilt apartments is that you know you have to do that and for $800,000, it's really not worth it, guys. I would just stick with a, a, a 10 car garage apartment you already have. Unless you want to ball out and you have that kind of money, I would just say go for it then. Okay, guys, now we get to the customizable apartments ranging from 900,000 all the way up to 1.1 mil. I bought myself the 1.1 mil version, but I'm pretty sure all the like apartments are the same because they're all in the Eclipse Tower. And by customizable, it's not what you guys think. It's like you can choose from options of the interiors. And this is like all the options right here from modern and moody, vibrant, uh, sharp, uh, monochrome, seductive, and regal, regal, whatever how you say it, and aqua. And I picked myself the monochrome one. And I'm just going to take a tour of it. Unlike the... You know, there's still apartments you can definitely access your garage and then go straight to your apartment without going, you know, outside and having to manually come into the front door. I thought that was really bad. So let's just get into it. You know, same 10 car garage like in all the 10 car garage apartments. And yeah, this is the same access point. And this is what the this is what it looks like, I guess. Yeah. So one of the cons of this is that you can't really customize like you can't move furniture and all the stuff like that. You can only pick what you want. And I didn't really think that was good because like you can only pick certain like there was like eight or nine option however many there was. And yeah, it's like the same thing unless you really want it. You have the money and you know, the view is really amazing, I guess. 
you know. Uh, this is basically the interior of it. Let's go all the way to the bedroom. It's only two stories high. And with the bedroom right here, one thing that really they should have incorporated it is that you can walk out to the balcony and then, you know, like jump out of the building if you really wanted to. And yeah, this is like the closet. For some reason, it has a bigger closet than the stealth apartments, which I think is like really weird. And but a smaller bathroom than the stealth apartments, which makes sense. And yeah, this is like the whole thing like this, I guess. And here we go, go downstairs. And they really should have made it like where you can jump out the building. That would have been really cool. And you can do all the normal stuff in like all the other apartments, you know, like all this, drink wine, drink green juice, sit down, I guess. And then like the normal heist room, you can do all your heist here and you know, replay, quick join heist, all that stuff, surf the web, I guess. And yeah, that's really it. It's really kind of a disappointment because like I thought you can customize it the way you want, like move furniture and all the stuff like that, but you can only like choose from eight different options of the interior and I thought it would be some more. I'm gonna be going through like all the options, like you can hold the select button and go to apartment style and choose your like uh interior design, but it's, you know, you have to pay money for every time, you know you change it but yeah i'm gonna be uh time lapsing all of these and if you guys like the video like it and if you guys got something to say comment down below i want to hear from you guys if you guys bought the apartment the customizable one or the stilt ones and if you guys want more content like this subscribe if you guys like car customizations in gta also subscribe i got a whole bunch of those coming up and also a whole bunch already up and i'll see you guys on the next video peace